very warm welcome to you. Thank you very much for keeping it Y254. Well, it is the 6th of October 2020, a fine Tuesday evening. Thank you very much for keeping it Y254. We are broadcasting live from the Broadcasting House here in Nairobi, Kenya. It is uh, now 8 minutes past 8 p.m. This is The Stand. My name is Ram Aguko. Now, tonight we have a lot in store for you, including the Hustler Nation uh, talking about Matas Jubilee Party wrangles and uh, the Jubilee Party National Management Committee that had recommended the removal of the Deputy President William Ruto as the Deputy Party leader and barred him from accessing or uh, and using the or using the party headquarters to advance his political uh, uh, ambitions. Now. Jubilee Party, as it was back in 2013 and uh, the 2017 general elections, is not the same way as it is currently in 2020. The question is, will it be the same in 2022? Well, tonight we focus on the state of politics in Kenya. Joining me is uh, Nurdin Kagai. He is a lawyer. Passionate in matters concerning the youth, governance, politics, and youth empowerment, whether it is social, political, or economical. Uh, Nurdin, karibu sana. Thank you very much. Now, I'm giving you two minutes. What is your stand about how the country's ruling party ought to be, and how does this reflect in Kenya? Your two minutes starts now. Good evening. My name is Nurdin Kagai. A Kenyan, but most importantly, a son of the soil. In the, on the stand tonight, as we discuss the make or role of a ruling party, we ask ourselves, what is a ruling party? For most, a ruling party is a governing party. A governing party is a, governing, is, a, is a party that is there courtesy of the president in an election. Therefore, a ruling party is a uniting factor. A ruling party is a party built on developing and improving the social and economic livelihoods of its people. What we have right now in Kenya, sadly, is something totally different from what a ruling party is comprised of. We have a party where the president comes from and the deputy president comes from. And we expect, since they came together as a ruling party, with the form of uniting the country, they have gone totally and absolutely away from the meaning of Jubilee is Tuko Pamoja. They are no longer together, the handshakes that we see there might as well be taken off. We are suffering from the problems. We as Kenyans are only bound to suffer the more they continue wrangling. Because as a Swahili, we are going to be able to do it. Thank you. Introducing next my guest tonight, I'm joined by Joe Kennedy. He is a social scientist and the co-founder of uh, Homa Bay County Youth Network and a civil society organization that is the CEO's network. George Kennedy joining me tonight. Thank you, Sarah George. Now, I'm giving you two minutes to address a country's ruling party ought to be and how does this reflect in Kenya today? Uh, good evening, fellow viewers. Um, when we look at the nation, we realize that the nation, the government or the ruling party has got a social contract with the people. And this social contract must be, and I'm using the model verb, must be fulfilled. This is because they had a manifesto that was supposed to be implemented this manifesto should not have wrangles because when Kenyans see the wrangles that they now witness, they fail to understand whether the card that they gave the ruling party is going to be fulfilled or whether at the end of this particular regime they're going to have a scorecard that has got, that has surpasses, uh, you know, the pass mark that is way above the 50% or we are just going to have a country where there are wrangles today, there are wrangles tomorrow and there is nothing great that is going to happen in this particular country. And therefore, my stand tonight 
should be that the governing party that we elected, the Jubilee Party, that has the deputy president, that has got, you know, its office has got some portfolio, and also the president that his office has the portfolio, which is a given in a given divided role, should be working in accordance to what Kenyans expect from them. And uh, this is uh, uh, their stand. What about you? Stand. Come on, Dad.